All right, guys, so we have good news for Global Dokkan. Uh, we have the announcement that Angel Golden Frieza will be coming to Global uh, very soon. Looks like he will be coming in two days. Now, it's actually interesting because on JP, they have uh, recently kind of updated these news notifications. Uh, the first one that was different on JP was Super Vegito. The physical Super Vegito is actually four days away. And then since they've done it to where these uh, news notifications are actually only a day in advance. But here on uh, Global, they're still doing two days in advance. So Angel Golden Freeze will be coming. Uh, two new units arrive, uh, with Angel Golden Frieza, um, we have the Angel Golden Frieza himself, and, oh, actually, here, let me bring up, uh, the other new unit that comes, this is actually, uh, another Angel Frieza that is farmable from the first, uh, stage, because it's one of the events where there's two stages, the first stage you farm this Frieza, and then the second stage you actually fight the Angel Golden Frieza boss. Now, this unit right here is just to serve as a placeholder, uh, kind of leader for the Resurrected Warrior category. So you can bring him as a leader, and then you can bring uh, Angel Golden Frieza as a friend. Now, we're going to get into Angel Golden Frieza in a second. Let me kind of run down the news, and then we'll talk more about him. But uh, Global, here's the thing. Uh, if you guys have Super Saiyan 3 AGL Goku and you want to Extreme Z Awaken him, you're going to have to get this Frieza. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to do uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Extreme Z Awaken. Uh, there's only three ways you could do it, as far as I'm aware. Uh, one is to have uh, Angel Golden Frieza team, the Resurrected Warrior category team. Two is Devil Man. Uh, I think if you have a Super 17 leader... Uh, or I, I think uh, another one similarly around that, like 100% should work to take down Goku. Uh, but Devil Man is a possibility, but it's a 1% chance that his passive will activate. And you need him to be in the first turn. And you're going to need to get enough key for him to super, so it will be incredibly difficult. Because uh, you cannot use items in the Extreme Z-Awakening event. Uh, the third way is modding. <laughs> I feel like the only thing though is that Renzi did uh, mention that they do track the Extreme uh, Z Awakening event, although as far as I'm aware, no one's been banned from modding uh, the event uh, up to this point. So if you are a legit player, you're going to have to get Angel Golden Frieza or have Devil Man. If you do not have Devil Man, uh, you're not going to be able to get him before the event leaves. And here's the thing about uh, Goku's... Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Extreme Z Awakening event, it has not yet returned on JP. Uh, you know, we're now five months since it's been out on JP, I, I believe, right? Or no, excuse me, no, no, no I'm way wrong. It's been eh, eh, about four, actually, since it's been on JP, because it was like uh, middle of November. So, I don't know, guys. Uh, let, let's, let's go back. So, obviously, we have the, uh, you know, the announcement of him. That's the Angel Freezer right there. I do love Baba there. And then, uh, yeah, ho, 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 ho. All right, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, there is a server maintenance. Uh, this is going to be tomorrow night, actually. Yeah. Yes? No, this is two days away. Yeah. In two days, uh, there will be a server maintenance. Um, this, obviously, is to prepare for uh, the Extreme Z Awakening event. I don't think it's coming before Angel Golden Frieza. Looks like the Extreme Z Awakening might not come to like the 19th or something. Uh, probably giving people time to awaken Angel Golden Frieza first before the Extreme Z Awakening event comes out. Uh, the uh, game will be updating to 3.8.1. Now, here's the unfortunate thing about this. Uh, 3.8.1 is not the update that has the fast uh, hidden potential system. Uh, that is actually 3.8.2. So, I mean, they could release the faster hidden potential system where you can click uh, tons of orbs in one go. But I'm going to tell you guys, like right now, there's a chance it doesn't come. I know a lot of people are upset about that. And yes, I do understand because... On JP, you could literally 100% a unit in one minute, maybe two at most. Whereas on Global, that's a 15 to 20 minute process. So, uh, honestly, is it unfair it's not out on Global? <clears throat> yes. Uh, <laughs> updates like that really could come onto both versions at the same time. 
Like, I guess I could kind of understand why they hold back content, like, you know, actual new units, because they don't want to destroy the meta of the game. But who gives a fuck? I still don't think... <laughs> this gotcha game... Global and JP, could they could have shit come out the same day. Like, all the time. They could just speed the fuck up, catch the two games up. There's no reason they can't do that. I don't know. So, alright, let's get rid of this. Now, here's what Angel Golden Freeze's banner looks like. Now, I'm going to tell you guys uh, right away. I do not think his banner is going to change. Um, before... When banners have changed, there was a little bit of an indication of, like, when it might and why. But here's the thing. The category banners uh, have so far been the same. Uh, Physical Super Vegito had the same banner on both Global and JP. And SCR Ultimate Gohan also had the same banner on Global and JP. Because these category banners, uh, for the most part, are geared towards that actual category leader skill. Um... Ultimate Gohan did have some units like SCR Janemba and SCR Perfect Cell that weren't uh, tailored for his uh, category. But they weren't changed across both versions. Now, as you guys can see, every unit on the banner is actually in Frieza's category except for Physical Full Power Frieza. Uh, but the rest of them are all actually in his category. Now, I before, I probably would have told people, don't summon on this banner. Uh, but now, it's like you kind of have to. Like, if you want to do Goku's Extreme Z Awakening, you have to have Angel Golden Frieza. Uh, there's just not really a lot of getting around it. I know a lot of people are going to think, well, hey, you know, my box is really good. I could use this team. I could use that team. But it just doesn't work that way. The event is not capable of being beaten without, like, having the revived Warrior team. Like, uh, once you get towards the end of the event, only Extreme Int... And extreme tech units can damage the Goku. Uh, and extreme int units are going to be taking a ridiculous amount of damage. And you can't heal. Like, he, this guy, like, <laughs> Goku literally has, like, ten health bars. And you have, like, one or two turns to beat him because you can't use items. It, it's it's trickier than people are thinking it's going to be. But, like, with an Angel Golden Frieza team, you can, you know, make it work. Uh, I will say that this Frieza right here, this set Golden Frieza, is maybe the most important unit uh, for the event. Because he will completely negate damage, so he's very, very helpful. Um, obviously, the rest of these units aren't really the greatest. Physical Full Power Frieza, when he gets his Extreme Z Awakening, is going to be stupid good. Uh, Physical Kibu, not a fan whatsoever. Uh, Metal Cooler is very, very good for both the Revived Warrior Category team, as well as Extreme Int, so he is a strong candidate. Uh, if you don't have him, you definitely would want a copy of him. Obviously, Tech Golden Frieza, he's pretty good, I guess, for Extreme Tech. Uh, and for the Revive Warrior team, he's quite good. Uh, Int Kid Buu, I'm not the biggest fan of, but, you know, obviously, I mean, he is a good unit. I'm not going to call him a bad unit. Uh, Angel Tech Goku is definitely the second best unit on the banner here. Uh, supremely good unit who is on uh, several categories, which is very, very helpful. And then, obviously, Angel Golden Freeze himself, who is a very good unit. The only downside is he has bad links. Uh... We'll go ahead and move into kind of like a, a little semi-breakdown of him. This Frieza, again, is just here for his kind of uh, like a lower end revived warrior category. So that maybe you could run him and then practice, you know, playing around with a friend, uh, Angel Golden Frieza. I'm not sure if you could beat Goku's Extreme Z Awakening with a, an Angel Frieza plus Angel Golden Frieza uh, like category team. Like you would bring a friend, Angel Golden Frieza. I don't think that would work. I, I think Goku hits too hard. You won't be able to do enough damage. But, I mean, you know, I've been wrong before. We'll see. Uh, now, Angel Golden Freeze himself, again, very, very good unit. Very, very good for uh, Super Battle Road if you have not yet beaten Extreme Int's uh, Super Battle Road. You know, obviously, he does immense damage like, you know, any Dokkan Fest does. He gets that 150% attack buff, 50% defensive buff. And super type enemies and allies get their attack lowered by 15%. A majority of the revived uh, warrior category or resurrected warrior category is actually villains. So that's not really going to hurt you too much besides, uh, I guess, the Tapions. Uh, but both Tapions work reasonably well. Uh, the big one, of course, is Angel Tech Goku. Uh, outside of that, I guess maybe some people might run like a Bardock. Um, but I, I feel like the best Bardock to work on the team is actually the physical Bardock right here, because, uh, he will give, uh, key and attack buff to all allies, 
regardless of hero or villain. So he's very he works very well alongside LR Majin Vegeta and LR Broly. Um, in terms of that, that basically covers like you know a lot of the hero units that you would use. So Frieza's ability right there to uh, lower super type allies attack. It's not really going to come into play that often. Um, lowering enemies attack is obviously very nice. The problem with Frieza is his links. Um, for some fucking reason, they're like, yeah, Big Bad Bosses? Nah, fam. Nah. <laughs> what? The best link in the game? Nah, he can't have that. Shocking speed? A very common link on Extreme In? Nah. <laughs> no. We can't give him shocking speed, my boy. Nightmare? That common attack link? <laughs> well, you wanted fear and faith, did you? <laughs> That's what they said. They said, here, he's going to have shit links. Fuck you. <laughs> now, again, eventually, if there is a universal survival arc team, uh, this turn of power link is going to be nasty, bro, because you're going to have Jiren, uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolution, Vegeta, you know, his new form. Ultra Instinct Goku, there, you know, one day there'll be an LR Ultra Instinct Goku, the Pride Troopers, you know, God of Destruction Topo, they're, they're all gonna have uh, that link, the turn of power link, which is gonna make a lot of them work really well, but outside of that team, that link is terrible, it's dead, it's a dead fucking link. <laughs> So, that is the big downside for Angel Golden Frieza, is his links. So, again, most of the category teams uh, do get huge benefits from support-type units. Uh, luckily, the Revived Warrior category team actually has several. You have, obviously, the Physical Super Saiyan Bardock. Uh, you have Demon King Piccolo as one. Um, you also have Metal Cooler. Um, and... I can't think of another one off the top of my head. Just a, a couple of the Super Saiyan Bardocks. I mean, you can run Super Saiyan 2 Bardock, but he uh, is only uh, stats, whereas Key, I think, is very important. Same with uh, Physical Kid Buu. He's only stats. He doesn't actually give Key. But, all right, guys. I feel like that will cover kind of the upcoming stuff for Global. Um, if you have Super Saiyan 3 Goku and you want Extreme Z-Wake him, again, you're going to have to get this Frieza. If you don't have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and you're not really too concerned about his Extreme Z-Awakening, I guess I wouldn't really too worry too much about this banner. The other thing, too, again, the event has never returned on JP. Now, I'm not saying it won't ever return. That wouldn't make sense. Obviously, it should at some point. But as of right now, it still has not returned. So you're going to want to try and get all the stages done on its first arrival here. But thanks, y'all, for watching, and later.